rock stars, Lid Shaw. I'm here at Winter Nam 2018, and I'm standing here with Carlos from Sonar Works. Exactly. How you doing, Carlos? I'm very good. How are you? I'm doing excellent, man. I'm really happy to meet you because I've actually been using one of your wonderful plugins Thank for you. headphones in my Thank studio you. and checking that out. And you guys are doing really cool stuff. So, rock stars, if you are looking for a way to dial in your headphones and your speakers, these guys have come up with a, a helpful solution for you that you can actually install into any DAW. So, Carlos, yep. take it away and tell us who you are and what you guys do here. Uh, hello, guys. My name is Carlos. Uh, I work for Sonarworks. I am the product manager and I build all the professional stuff there. So basically what we do is calibration. That's the bottom line. So what is calibration? The problem is that all headphones, all speakers, and all rooms sound differently. So when you're mixing, producing, DJing, whatever, making music, being a creative yeah. person, yeah. you're listening to some kind of a sound signature that the manufacturer of the product, the speakers or the headphones, or your room, if it's not treated, uh, and also when it's treated, it, it, it puts on this like weird EQ that you kind of don't notice it because it's in, in your hardware. Right, you get used to it. In other words, your headphones sound a certain way. The low end is a certain thing, the high end is exactly. a certain thing. Same thing with your speakers, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. So you're working on your system and you get your song, your mix sounding good and you're happy with the result. And then you send it to your friend, to your client, whatever, your your mom, I don't I don't know where you send it. <laughs> and and they come back saying, you know what? It, that, it doesn't sound good. It sounds really awful. And, you know, the, the bass is not sitting. The vocals are too quiet. The guitars are just missing missing power. And you're, like, scratching your head. Wait a minute. It, it sounds amazing in my studio. It sounds amazing on the headphones. What's wrong? Right. Yeah, and, hey, Rockstars, have you ever experienced that? Come on, let's be honest. Have you yeah. ever done a mix and later you discovered that the mix didn't sound the way you thought it was supposed to sound? Yeah, yeah. So, or, or, or you get your mix to a party, put it on a party, press play, and you're like, oh, my God. This is not my mix. This is awful. Dude, if you're putting it straight on play in the party without prefing, uh, yeah. referring it first or checking it out, you might be in trouble already. Yeah, exactly. So the problem is that you mixed in your system, which sounds like your system sounds, and then you go somewhere else and it sounds completely different because if it's a different speaker, different room, different headphones, and the sound signature there is completely off from what you heard in your studio. Yeah. And we fixed that. We fixed that. So. The bottom line is if uh, you mix on a system which is calibrated, which means it's flat, there's no uh, no extra bass, no extra, no little two, two less highs, the mids are clear, everything is fine. When you mix on a f perfectly flat system, your mixes translate better to any other system. Interesting. Well, I, I, I feel like I know that. I know that really well-designed control rooms have speakers that just are dialed in to be flat and rooms that are dialed in. But uh, with home studios, it's a lot harder to do. We maybe don't have access to a professional studio designer. Exactly. So what does your plugin do to help us get flat like that? So we have the two parts. We have the headphone part and the speaker part. I'll start off with the headphone bit. The headphone uh, calibration is very, very simple. Basically, we have a plugin that you put in on your master output on in your DAW. You select uh, the preset from in the plugin of what kind of headphone model you have because head every headphone model is different, therefore you have to specify which one model you have. We have like more than 100 headphones, popular headphones calibrated. So uh, you select the profile and boom, uh, your sound is now calibrated on your headphones. That's it. it all, uh, all you have to do is put the plugin in your master bus as the last plugin in the chain. That's it. Right. So Rockstars, if you have a particular brand of headphones, what they've done is they've measured exactly what's going on with the EQ curve um, in the lab, you know, and then yeah. they have a compensating thing that goes the other direction, and then you end up with something that is flat, so that no matter what headphones you mix on, you're going to end up hearing something that is, generally speaking, the same sound or flat, right? Exactly. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at some of the uh, beautiful graphics you have that show us how this stuff works, and we'll yeah. see what the plugin looks like on well, the screen. Let's go for it. Let's All go right, for cool. it. We'll, we'll go on in. Right, guys, this is the Sonarworks Reference 4 plugin. Right now, it's working in the headphone mode, as you can see here in the top right corner. Uh, already some signal going through. It's the input-output. And what you're, the big graph here, what you're looking at, that is the response, the sound of your headphones. In this case, the profile here, which we've chosen, is the Marshall Monitor headphones. These are these headphones. Uh, there's a professional grade headphones, just regular grade headphones, but we have uh, profiles for a lot of headphones here. So when you look in a graph, for example, for these Marshalls, as you can see, that's really bad. Imagine this being an EQ on your master output when you use these headphones without calibration. 
and that would be your master EQ. You'd say, well, I, I don't, I don't want to work with this. This is, this, this is not good. So, but that's how your headphones sound. So what we do, we profile these Marshalls and any other headphone. We get the sound signature of this headphone here. That's the frequency response. And what we do is we correct it to be perfectly flat. This red line here across here, that's how your headphones, in this case Marshalls, will sound after the calibration. Uh, so all this high, these low, low muddy mids, this this bass here, and this really horrible dip around two three k, like we fix that. Uh, we we can I can show you the how how the EQ works. So here, uh, this is the frequency of the Marshall frequency response of the Marshalls, and this the green line is what we do uh, with them. This is. Well, you can look at this as a advanced, very, very precise EQ. So we kind of mirror the problems the Marshall is having. Like we, we dip the lows, we boost the highs here, and eventually you get a perfect flat frequency response. No deviation in any frequency. So the bass sounds as loud as the mids and the highs. It's all balanced and you can create really, really solid mixes with this. this the best part of this, this really speeds up your mixing process or your creative process. So what is the experience of somebody when they mix through this flat? Like, what, what's the emotional experience of this after you mix through this plugin? Well, usually uh, the first initial experience with, speaker, uh, with, with users is when they, when they turn on the calibration, they're like, this is quite different. This is, this is really different. And it, it, it might take time to get used to. Because if you've been using like a single pair of headphones for three, four years, you're really, really used to that sound. Right. So when you turn on the calibration, you'll go like, whoa, something really changed. But you g give five minutes, like take a, take a song that you really know well from a, from a well-known artist that you respect. Listen to the song for, for five minutes and then try to turn the calibration off. You'll be blown away. You're like, oh my God. My, I've been working on this my whole life. This, that's that's wrong. Well, so, that's wild. So, and I can imagine, like, as you're listening to a favorite record with it playing back flat in your headphones, you can just sort of study what does each instrument sound like in this. And I'm like, oh, that's how the hi hat sounds. That's how the vocal sounds. That's how. Exactly. And then when you finish your mix, mixing through this, and you go take it out into the world, what's that experience like? You're happy because you go to your car, you go to your, you know, French stereo, whatever. You listen to your mix, like, yeah, it's, it sounds good. I, maybe you need to make some. If if beforehand you make you had to make like iteration three, four, five, six, seven yeah. mix fixes. Now you maybe do one or two and it's done. That's it's pretty done. exciting. I, I definitely yeah. like that idea. So um, Rockstars, I believe you guys also have the same plugin for headphones. You can get the the higher end package, which which includes headphones and. Speakers. EQ for your speakers, yeah. for your monitors in your studio, and you guys even have a special reference mic that you can use to measure your speakers and make sure you're getting everything right, right? Yeah, exactly. We have our own microphone that is individually calibrated. It gives you the best precision when you're using our software to calibrate your speakers, but you can also use any other individually calibrated microphone, as long as it's calibrated. That's the key. Okay, awesome. What, what does it cost to get one of these? Right, so we have two modules, the headphone edition and the studio edition. The headphone edition costs 99 bucks, and uh, you get everything for your headphones. Basically, it's the DAW plugin and the system-wide app. And the system-wide app is basically, it will calibrate all your sound outside of your DAW. So Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, you name it. So you'll get calibrated sound everywhere. And the Studio Edition, which includes headphone, everything for headphones and for speakers, it costs $2.99 with the mic included. Uh, and that also, it's a DAW plugin, a system-wide app, and the standalone measurement app with, to measure your speakers in your studio. And that's super cool. And the, the thing that I really appreciate about this is like when you're thinking about investing in a plugin like this and investing in your, your studio, it's such an easy no-brainer. It's like e even if you were just worried about like saving 10 bucks an hour for you only need to like save yourself 10 hours to, to 30 hours of work. Exactly. Exactly. Over, the, over the duration exactly. of your mixing to pay for the plug-in and, and, uh, and you know, own it yourself. So, yeah. very cool. Um, so, Carlos, let the Rockstars know how they can find you guys online and learn more about this. Yeah, so go, just go to sonarworks.com. Uh, you will learn everything there you need to read about, and you can get our stuff there as well. It's simple as that. Groovy Rockstars, thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks for doing this with us, Carlos. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And drop a comment in down below and tell us what, what kind of headphones are you mixing on? What kind of speakers are you mixing on? And if they were able to be flat in your studio, how would you enjoy taking your mix out to the car, 
your iPhone, send it to your friends, play it in the club, like you yep, said, yep. and it sounds killer right off the bat. What would that feel like if everybody in the room was rocking out to your music? Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much.